Hi there, Leos. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for the next 48 hours. So thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Let's get started on this. If you'd like a private reading, by the way, I do still do those for donation. Check out the box below for that information. Let's bring in Leo Spirit Guides, Angels, Higher Self, Higher Powers to get messages that's for Leo Collective for their highest good. Gosh, these are some big cards. Okay, this is the Infinite Life Coaching Oracle. I thought we'd get a few of these first. Number one, speaking up, Leo, this shouldn't be hard for you. It says your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. Speaking up. Then we have 40 for visionary. You are learning to synthesize all of your creative ideas into action. So maybe doing something new, right, Leos? And then we have increase, 74. You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart. You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart. Good, Leo. Good, uh, good first start here. So let's go on to the tarot. We're going to use the Osho Zen Tarot to do a general reading. Helped it cross for Leo's. What's the issue for Leo's? Right away, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Good. So either we felt ignored or kind of left out, maybe not belonging, maybe where we were, we didn't feel like we belonged that much or that well, or this can be a financial situation, or this could be both for some people, you know? So this is coming out of that energy, though. I had to describe it first what it was, but it's definitely coming out of those energies. What's the challenge here? Leo, what's the challenge? The challenge is going within and sitting with silence. I remember a time when I had um, oh, it was some test in college and, and we had to be like really quiet for it. Everybody had to be super, super quiet. It was one of those like license type tests. So it was really important. And I remember hearing this silence that came over everything. And it scared me absolutely to death. I don't know. There was something about the silence, like, inducing this uh, anxiety. So maybe sometimes that happens to you where uh, having to be really still and silent is um, almost bothersome at times. But, yeah, we can choose to really enjoy it, too, and experience it differently. We have five. Five of Cups. Regret. Loss. Clinging to the past energy. What's the heart of the matter for Leo's? Well, nice, Leo. Show people how to do it with the success card. You're on top of the world. People lifting you up. Some kind of great victory. This is um, achievement for maybe something that you had a vision about, you spoke up about, and then you manifested. So this is like the, um, this is the great outcome. Okay, what's the past energy for Leo? Past energies for Leo, please. Past energy for Leo. Not wanting to pull any of those. Okay, integration. So past energy is putting it all together. Putting all the together, the um, emotions that you've had to balance, that you've had to process in your life. Um, really integrating them, seeing a little bit of good in it, seeing seeing the silver lining in things, knowing when the shadow has a place and where it goes. Knowing that if your light is really bright, you will cast a really big shadow and just being aware of that. In the present moment, in the present moment, what do we have for Leos? We have for Leos in the present moment. All right, we have something that you don't feel is working real well. I think these are supposed to go like this, actually. I think all of these. Okay, the reason why I think that is because it just goes along with the story. So this is working well, right? Because we're breaking free from some kind of chains, something that bound us, um, either finances or feeling like we just didn't belong. We have eight, eight and 10, 10. 
ordinariness or working and then letting go of a situation. We also, I believe, let go of our beliefs and our expectations from others that we put on ourselves end up being, you know, our burdens to carry. So this is a rebirth from the Ten of Swords energy. And it's definitely letting go of how this process was going to work. So yes, it may be tough and there may be some things that were keeping you down, such as these um, expectations and things that you're letting go of. You could possibly be moving away from a situation too. I don't want to leave that out. So all of that is your present situation. All right. What is the card that represents Leo's near future? Well, we have good news trying to come in. Why is it stop? Why is it take? It's like taking time, and I want to know why. So let's draw another one. Okay, something has to reach maturity first. So th this is about already having some of that good news. And in the near future, it's like there there still will be this energy here. It just has to mature, kind of like a, bank, a banking account or maybe like you're saving for something and you're waiting for it to get a certain amount first. I don't know. Let's see. What is the you feeling? How are you feeling spot for Leo's? Feeling like either you've met your soulmate or feeling like um, strong family ties, strong family bonds. This could be about manifesting your dream though, Leo. Possibly soulmate or maybe the soul, um, like soul's mission, energy from the soul's mission. What is the external situation for Leo? The external situation for Leo's, please. Okay, just wanting to become, that's what you're saving for. You're wanting to become completely independent, Leos. Not having to really make any decisions that are not yours um, or think of anything else but yourself right now as far as finances, independence. Like, it's, it's important to you. It's very important to you here. And what is the hopes and fears? What's the hopes and fears? So right now it's a building of that, and I think it's saving too. I think that's something else that's about that this reading's about. Oh, fear, <laughs> not ever getting to go on your new adventure, not ever getting to say, I had the chance to throw, you know, to leap into the wind and have faith here. Um, I feel like something is going to start speeding up, though. Like, the intensity or the passion here is going to get stronger for you. So, what is the outcome? Oh, goodness. Uh, something about an offer, okay? Here, Leos, let me break it down. There's something about an offer of a new beginning, a new start, maybe with somebody that you've already been with. Well, here's the thing. Leo doesn't want that. Leo doesn't want that. And um, it's really telling you, you're, it, this is like you talking to yourself. With the courage and the Knight of Cups in reverse, you feel like an offer is not, I don't know if it, it's necessarily disingenuous like to the person or if it just feels like it's something that um, you don't trust because you're looking out to see now, like, does this make me emotionally happy? Do I think I can remain stable in this environment? You know what I'm saying? Like, like all these factors together, do I want a brand new beginning starting from scratch with this offer? And I think you're like, no. So, so I don't know what that's about or what kind of offer that's about. But yeah, I think you've got the courage to be as vulnerable as you can, like the seed that goes through the soil and the rocks and it gets to the light and it's finally the flower. But um, having the courage to do that first, to break that shell is the harder part. I think you do have trust in you and I think you have trust in your judgment. And that's probably why it's asking you to speak up a little bit for yourself. Maybe you could be the deciding factor on how fast or slow something does go. Just an idea. 
All right, let's get some sacred signs and symbols for Leos. We have for Leos sacred signs and symbols. Please. <laughs> okay. Snake, deception, or lies. Or let's take it to what it means in nature. It means transformation. Something has transformed. Complete metamorphosis. Maybe sometimes not for the great, but... But we do have you building up your armor. So if somebody's wanting to get close to you, even with an offer, you know, even with a decision that has to do with finances, it's going to be hard for them to get inside because right now I think Leo is very focused and driven by this need to let go and embrace this hardworking ethic, rebirth. And I think you're the one that decides for these cards. I think that's why they're coming out in the reverse is what it feels like. So let's get some angel number messages for you, Leo. And I'll get a few more cards and then we'll end your reading. We've got zero, zero, zero. I am a creator. You are one with the creator. And there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. I am a creator. Then we have 18. You are both open-minded and open-hearted, and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. I am kind-hearted. And of course you are, because you're a Leo. Of course you're kind hearted. Be as hard of them all. All right. Archangel cards. Archangels, please, for Leo. What do we have for Leo? There's two. Archangels for Leo. And one of them is the earth itself. <laughs> Lady Gaia energy. Lady Gaia energy. And Archangel Gersissa. Hmm. This is about your vision, this Archangel Gersissa. It's about something that you're envisioning for not just yourself, but for everybody around. And it's kind of like giving off light worker energy. Let's see what this is about. It says you are ready to move forward on your ascension path. So it's just reminding you to strengthen your spiritual reading, meditation, chanting or your own particular spiritual discipline accessing wisdom and knowledge and this is also a card of universal service calling you to assist the planet by sending your love out and then lady gaia there she is Earth is a unique mystery school where your lessons are brought to you as experiences. You agree to incarnate now when there are great but testing opportunities for accelerated ascension. So your guidance is to examine a challenge that is currently being presented to you. Is this a repeat test? Is this a, a pattern that you need to explore or are you being called to be strong or detach yourself? to forgive or be generous once you have passed the test that situation or person will not return all right like a diamond the more you polish it the brighter it gets leos and that's your reading for right now thank you so much sending you love and light bye leo